wedding website tutorial create a free wedding website with wix hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create your own wedding website using wix so let's get into it now the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create your account on wix and i already have an account and you can just sign up by your email address and then you're just going to click on create new site over here and once you click on create new site, you're going to determine what kind of website you're looking to create. So first off, we're going to use the Wix platform. Don't ever go for the editor X because that is more for professionals. And then we're just going to continue on with Wix. And then you're going to enter what kind of website you are creating. So you can add wedding website if you find that kind of category. And you're just going to click on next over here. And once you do that, Wix is going to ask you a few more questions, like what kind of features or widgets you want to add into your website. So obviously we have the built-in events section that I want to add, and I'm just going to click on next. And that is it. And then once you do that, you can choose the Wix ADI to create a website for you by answering a couple of questions or use the template editor. We're going to click on the template editor and I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to create the website. So after you do that, you can see there are quite a few different templates for you to choose from that you can use as a wedding website template. Now you have wedding RSVPs, wedding photographers. You can make it very specific, like it could be an invitation list, it could be a basic kind of wedding portfolio or wedding highlight the website or something like that you can make a gift registry so you can just pick out any one of these templates to get started with with your website or you can also use a blank layout so you can just click on blank templates over here and then you can easily find a blank template that you can begin editing so we're going to go into the alt template section and i'm going to search for wedding once more to create the wedding website and i'm going to use one of these templates I think I'm going to use this one and I'm going to create a simple wedding invitation that has a RSVP and that has a wedding gift registry as well that people can pick out gifts for you guys and then you can also create you know a RSVP list any kind of how the event is going to be planned what is the theme of the eventing uh, how it's going to look like so First off, this is going to be the template that has been loaded. And now what I'm going to do to start customizing this template is that I'm going to click on this text over here and I'm just going to change that. So let's say it's Jane and John. So I'm going to add this instead. And then below that, you know, you can edit any of these elements just by clicking them. I'm going to change the date to June 4th, 2022. And then I can add the address. So you can see over here, this is the RSVP Wix event section. So you can just click on the manage event over here and then manage this event. So you can see uh, you will have a wedding RSVP. You can see the people that are going to be joining and the people that are not going to be joining. So we're just going to open this up. And once it opens up, you can see the wedding. You have the date, you have the address. You can click on edit. And then you can also add a specific time. You can also add a physical location and then you can also add a vetting schedule. So you can add um, the schedule so you can add uh, dinner and then you can add the time for the dinner is going to be nine. And then you can add the place, obviously, and the descriptions like this. You're just going to add different items and then you can also have a basic uh, personal agenda that you can add to your event to make sure that it is added uh, accurately and then the guests that are coming to your wedding are already uh, informed on when they are going to be leaving when they have to be where and what is going to be the specific time that they need to allocate to your event now below that you have this simple section and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this image over here and i'm going to click on delete and then you can add your own an image or if you don't want any images you can remove this and then you can just click on stretch over here and bring this to the top and below that you have the rsvp when and where accommodation and all that and now this is just one page of our website now if you click on your top left over here you have other event pages so you have the schedule and the event details and registration so i'm going to click on manage pages over here and i'm going to click on the registry page now you can see this is the registry and you can see that it's like a very simple registry. So I'm going to delete this and instead I'm going to click on add page. I'm going to add a blank page and then I'm going to rename this blank page into gift registry. And then I'm going to click on done over here and I have this simple little page over here and I'm going to click on add. And then on my add section, you can see you have different types of content blocks that you can add. And I'm just gonna click on one of these boxes for me to add. So I'm just gonna take a look to find a simple kind of grid. 
to add yeah so i'm going to go into galleries and in the galleries you know i have the grids available and i'm just going to take one of these grids and i'm going to place it over here and then with your grid what you can do is you can add the images for the kind of gifts that you are expecting or you want and you can even leave links within the images this is just for reference so to leave a link what i would do is i would click on manage media and then you have all of these images and then what you can do is you can click on add link and then you can paste the link for the item over here and whenever someone clicks on the items image then the link will be opened up and they will be led to where to buy this from so after that these are like some of the basic things like your home page this is what our home page is like this is our story the vetting rsvp transportation you have the registry so you have one like nice detailed page home page and then you have a separate gift registry if you want to add more things like the theme of the event so uh we can just click on manage pages and then we can add another page and then we can add blank page and we can add wedding theme or just theme and i'm just going to add this i'm going to go into my theme page and i'm going to click on add over here and once i click on add i can go into the images section and i can add images for the wedding theme and then i'm going to go into text and i'm going to add a heading follow pastels maybe i want a pastel themed look and I'm just going to drag this to the top over here and then I'm going to add more text so I'm going to click on text over here I'm going to just add some bottom text and I'm going to add men bow and tie women summer dress or cocktail dress like this so you can add like basic information about that and then you can also click on add we're going to click on images and we're just going to use a free wix image you can obviously upload your own ideas and inspirations as well if you have those you can upload those as well and you can just upload them over here i'm just going to search for a summer dress and then i'm just going to pick out some of these images i'm just going to add this over here and then i'm just going to resize this and you can add as many images as you want however you might like them. You can also add them in the grid form that we previously added our other gift registry images. And then you can just click on auto save on the top right, but I have auto save on as well. Uh, auto save is automatically turned on whenever you're creating a new website. So you don't have to save it constantly, but when you're making any specific changes, you can save them as you go. And then you can start adding and now once like you have all this basic stuff now and you can just click on publish over here and your website is now live now i can just click on view site to see what my website is looking like and you can see this is the website if i click on my theme section so the theme section looks like this and if i click on the gift registry so it looks like that so it's a very simple and easy way to create your own wedding website using wix i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own wedding website using wix as well and then once you have finished your website you can go back into your account home page and then you can just manage your rsvp so you can just click on select site over here and then this will lead you to the actual website manager where you can click on events and then in your event section, you will find the RSVP list. So you can see the wedding. I have currently no RSVPs, or you can also click on send an invite to send invitations to your guests as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below, and I will make sure to answer them as soon as possible. And I will catch you guys in the next video.